Hi guys, Mark from Wild Family Travel. This morning we're at Chiang Mai Terminal 3 bus station. Uh, this is a rather busy bus station. We arrived here when we came in from Bangkok. Today we're taking another trip from here to Misai on the Thai-Burma border. Uh, so I'm just going to walk you guys through the bus terminal just to give you a look around. Um, plenty of taxis, cabs, grabs, tuk-tuks, you name it, arriving and dropping people off, picking people up all the time. So you'll have no worries about getting a ride here or getting a ride from here once you arrive. So let's go in the front door and have a look. When you walk in the front door on the right hand side you'll see ticket offices everywhere selling tickets to Bangkok, Pattaya, Krabi, you name it they're selling it and they're yelling out at you to come, come, come over here buy ticket off me. <laughs> on the left hand side you'll see the green bus ticket office. Uh, green bus is popular if you book on one to go website where you can book your bus tickets online. This is where you either pick them up from green bus, um, I'll leave a link in the show notes for Green Bus, so if you're looking for transport in Asia, they're the place to go. Plenty of ATM machines for you to take money out, coffee shop, uh, had a really nice iced coffee from there actually. There's a information box, information boxes are really handy when you're in a foreign country because sometimes mm -hmm. things are just hard to work out, so if you can go there, ask a question, get an answer, that's a great mm -hmm. thing. Here we have a just a little takeaway store, you know, chips, lollies, dried fruit, milk, everything. So out into one of the main seating areas, you go, plenty of seats crammed, jammed in this area, a bit like all Asian bus stations are, people waiting to go here, there and everywhere. So as we walk through a bit, there's uh, food, restaurants, luggage storage, more tour information. We actually had a bit of food from here when we arrived the other day, it was quite nice. So you can buy chicken and uh, hot dogs and all sorts of the normal Asian fare that you see on the side of the road everywhere. Up here's another bit of a waiting room for people to sit. Uh, this guy looks funny, doesn't he? <laughs> So yeah, monks walking around, like I said, plenty of stores here to buy things from um, for your trip because most bus trips in Thailand seem to take a long, long, long time. The roads are okay, but they're not great. I think the speed limit's about 90 kilometers an hour. When we came in from Bangkok, it took us 10 and a half hours to get to Chiang Mai. To get to Chiang Ra is about two and a half hours. To get to Mise is about four hours. So down this way a bit further, there's another little restaurant and tuck shop. Um, this place looks like it makes some really good steam buns and soup noodles. So there's also a bit of an upstairs area at the bus stop, so we'll quickly shoot up here and have a look. There's toilets and massage up there it says, but I think the massage is closed, but this is a bit of an overview of the second floor from the from the halfway up the stairwell. Gives you a bit of an overview of what it's like. It's a bit smoky in Chiang Mai at the moment when I film this, there's a lot of air pollution going on. So here's the toilets, apparently they market them as clean toilets and they were clean. We went in and had a look, cost you three baht to go in instead of the free public toilets. Not too much going on up on the top stairs as you can see. Um, look, if you had to arrive early and check out of your hotel early and wait for a bus, upstairs is probably the place to be as it is mm. empty most of the time. As you can see, there's not much going on. If you go into the toilets here, it's always handy to bring your own toilet paper because a lot of time mm. they don't have toilet paper and you don't want to be caught literally with your pants down. 
so yeah, so obviously there was some shops and a lot of stuff upstairs at one stage, but uh, most of it's since been closed down. So all the action happens on the bottom floor at Chiang Mai Terminal 3 bus station. Mm. So down the stairs we go back into the mayhem of it all. So thanks for joining me on this tour of the uh, Chiang Mai bus station. Look, you can find our channels at Wild Family Travel on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube. Well, you're already on YouTube, so you'll have found it there already. So see you next time when we do our next review. Bye.